what's up it's Nick and um, I'm gonna do my bracket for uh, the tournament uh, somehow it just uh, somewhere when I was clicking and getting to this uh, moved Louisville all the way up here but that's fine because that's where I put them so we're gonna start out move Missouri um, uh, this was a hard game for me I I think I'm gonna pick Oregon um, for some of my brackets but for this one I'm gonna take Oklahoma State uh, gonna take St. Louis let's see okay good the down thing okay I'm gonna take Memphis uh, over Middle Tennessee and St. Mary's uh, Middle Tennessee they could get Memphis trouble but I'm just gonna st stick with Memphis I'm gonna take Michigan State not too hard of a decision there I'm gonna take Cincinnati over Creighton and then obviously Duke over Albany I'm gonna move down here uh, we're gonna take Gonzaga um, I'm moving all the number one seats past the 16. That's never happened before, so I'm not gonna not gonna be the one to pick it. Uh, Pittsburgh over Wichita State, and that Pittsburgh win is gonna be huge for me, and you'll see why. Uh, Wisconsin over Ole Miss, Kansas State. I really like uh, Ryan McGruger, or yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, so I like Kansas State to beat uh, Boise State or LaSalle. I'm gonna take Arizona and New Mexico. Nothing really special going to happen in this uh, region except for a couple games. So Iowa State and Ohio State. I guess you could call Iowa State over Ohio State an upset, but uh, or not over Notre Dame an upset. But uh, I don't really see seven and tens as upset or eight and nine. So we're just going to finish out this side. Um, obviously Louisville. I'm going to take Marcus Smart and uh, Oklahoma State play Louisville. Louisville advance. Um, I'm going to take Memphis over Michigan State and then move Duke up into that spot and then take Duke uh, to the uh, Elite Eight. So then we're going to come down here to the bottom and I am going to take the Pitt Panthers over Gonzaga. That's going to move Kansas State over Wisconsin. I just like Kansas State, which I'm going to take them over Pitt, moving them to the Elite Eight. Uh, I'm going to take New Mexico over Arizona. Ohio State over Iowa State, and then Ohio State to the Elite Eight. Um, we're going to go up to the South region, and where I'm going to take Kansas, and then I'm going to take Villanova. North Carolina's hot, but I like Archidiacono um, to come up big and take out North Carolina. I'll just move Kansas there because I believe they'll win. Um, I'm going to take VCU and Michigan, and then move Michigan up to face Kansas. VCU will give Michigan trouble. Um, I believe their defense is stellar. That VCU defense is amazing. Uh, but I'm going to take Michigan. I think Trey Burke shows up like he has for every game. Um, and then I think I think Hardaway Jr. being a junior um, in college, he will show up and uh, help Burke out. And then just one of those uh, other freshmen uh, that are on the team, Stauskas, McGarry, um and uh Glenn Robinson the third one of them needs to show up and then Jordan Morgan needs to play well and if they get a little help from Spike Albrick and uh the but the John Horford they should they should be good Karis LeVert always gives a little bit of help in there but uh we'll move I'm going to move Minnesota over UCLA I've seen Minnesota play a lot of games this year and I like I like how they play UCLA is missing um one of their best players uh, Shabazz Muhammad, though, a um, little weary about him beating Minnesota, but it's an early round game, not as many points on the line. Uh, Going to take Florida. I really like Scotty Wilbekin um, and the three-point threats of Florida, but I did take Missouri um, pretty far last year um, because of their three points, and they got knocked out by Norfolk State, so I don't know, a bit of surprise there. But I'm going to take Oklahoma and then Georgetown here. Um, no huge surprise there with those two. I guess you could say Oklahoma because San Diego State's the lower seed. I'm going to take Georgetown and then Florida onto the next one. So in this in this uh, bracket right here, I have one, two, three, and four. Um, and it's not going to hold firm to taking the highest because I'm going to take Florida there over Georgetown and then Kansas here over Michigan. Now some people are thinking North Carolina over can over Kansas in that. Uh, round of 32 game and if that would happen I would say Michigan or VCU would beat North Carolina moving them to the Elite Eight but here we're gonna go down here to the east uh, where I'm gonna have a uh, yet another number one seed get knocked off moving Indiana and NC State up 
I'm going to take CJ Leslie and the Wolfpack to knock off Indiana. I'm going to take Cal over UNLV and Syracuse over Montana. Then I'm going to take Syracuse over Cal, um, moving them to the Sweet 16 and then beating NC State and CJ Leslie. Um, down here, I'm going to take Bucknell over Butler and Marquette over Davidson. Um, reason I'm going to take Bucknell, Davidson hasn't shown up for all their games. Um, they have, I mean, they're good. The A-10 was good, so um, it's not really too surprising to me that they, uh, they didn't win it. But uh, I don't know. I just want to, I'm just going to take Bucknell over Butler. Then we're going to take Marquette over uh, Bucknell. We're going to take Colorado over Illinois. This is a pick I've been wavering on. It may change in my final bracket. I'm going to update you guys probably uh, daily until Thursday. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I will put out a new video with the bracket if I decide to change it. Uh, if not, I just won't put out a video, and you guys can assume I have the same bracket. But we're going to move Miami up and then Miami over Colorado. Um, I think Shane Larkin and Duran Scott um, are... Oh, they're better, or they're even, if not better, with uh, Trey Berg and Tim Hardaway Jr. So that is why I'm going to move them to my Elite Eight over Marquette. Marquette could easily not make it there, get beat by Davidson or the Butler slash Bucknell combination. Marquette has had an interesting season to me. They haven't, they've had some interesting losses and just, just uh, haven't played the greatest for me. Uh, to move them past Miami. So I'm going to take Louisville over Duke. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, Louisville is the hottest team right now. Um, they won 10-plus games in a row. I'm not sure how much it is now. I think it's like 14 in a row. Um, they're the hottest team. Kansas, I'm taking Kansas. They had the three slip-up games in the middle. Um, say they only lost one of them. They would be 31-3. Uh, twenty or 31 and three. Uh, So... Um, definitely one of the best teams. Uh, that's why I'm moving them to the final. Um, this field, so I know that's like an obvious thing because they're a number one seed, but this field is so wide open uh, that I'm not really quite sure. This matchup down here between Ohio State and Kansas State was decently difficult for me. Um, I really want to take uh, Ronnie McGruger in Kansas State, but I'm going to take Ohio State. I like Aaron Kraft and how his defense is. Uh, he's just one. He's just uh, an amazing uh, defender. Um, over here, we're going to take Miami over Syracuse. Um, like I said, Shane Larkin and Duran Scott, one of them always comes up huge and scores huge amount of points. Um, uh, they were very impressive in that win over Duke, or no, loss over loss to Duke, where Ryan Kelly put up 32. Um, I thought that was more impressive for Miami um, than uh, uh, Ryan Kelly and Duke, uh, just because um, not every day is he going to score 32 points. Uh, so... Um, the fact that they hung in there and almost beat them, um, I found it really impressive. So we're going to go up here. Um, actually, we're going to move Louisville over Ohio State to the national championship uh, because uh, Louisville, I, I think Louisville is the best team. So we're going to take Miami over Kansas um, and then set it up there. Yep. Okay, that sets up my national championship between Miami and Louisville, and I'm going to take Miami. Uh, Miami is my national championship pick. Uh, the, I picked them after that Duke game to win the national championship, um, and I'm still sticking with that pick. Uh, I'm not going to waver from that. So I'm going to pick Miami to win by a score of 74 to 71. Uh, yeah, so I'll go back and just kind of show you guys the, the regions, um, just let you guys see my picks and whatnot. Uh, yeah, but this this field is wide open. Um, I did I sh I'm usually really good at this. Um, I'm good at making picks and whatnot. Uh, do pretty well every year. Uh, never really finish out of the top five of any group that I um, play in or bet in or whatever. Uh, never quite finish out of the top five. I did finish out of the top five last year in a couple because a couple of them I did pick Missouri to win it all. So um, the number two seed last year killed me. Will Miami kill me? Um, I think it's less of a chance of them losing the Pacific, but, you know, uh, anything can happen. Uh, but, yeah, um, probably hit you guys with another one tomorrow because 
Um, in school, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to pay attention because <laughs> I never do. And so I'm probably just going to be sitting there looking at brackets, figuring out stuff on my phone and whatnot. And I have three study halls where I'll probably do nothing but look at sports. Um, do have to work on my online class a bit, but uh, probably be able to bring you one of these tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to submit this, um, probably show you guys this. Uh, next time, um, I do have uh, two other brackets set up, but I don't, I'm not going to stick with them, really. Um, did that, okay, bracket has been saved, yeah. But I'm probably not going to stick with them, they're just kind of test brackets, I'm trying to figure out some stuff. Um, I can make 10 brackets on ESPN with my account, so no big deal there. I still got 7 more. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop it a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know some of your sleeper picks and who you want to win the national championship and everything. And I guess I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.